Then not today, Satan. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've been watching something on Show Max. Very interesting show on Show Max. And I decided that you know what I'm going to do a review on this. They're currently in the fourth episode, and that is the ultimate girl strip South Africa. They're currently on the fourth episode, and I'm like, wow, this is lovely. I think I love this concept rather than just doing the usual oh housewives of this, housewives of that. So basically, this housewives, um, this ultimate girl strip has to do with selection of some housewives from the South African franchise, and they uh, went on, they went to Jamaica for um vacation. So these housewives are picked from South Africa. I think South Africa has the highest or the major um, franchise in Africa. I think so. I think there are like four franchises so far. We have the Pretoria or Housewife of Pretoria. We have Housewives of Durban. We have Housewives of Johannesburg. And then Housewives of... I can't really remember the fourth one. I'm not sure of the fourth, but I'm going to write it down when I check it out. So basically, they had to select housewives from each of these franchise and then they came together and went on vacation there are about seven of them not there are about there are seven housewives um on this vacation we have crystal we have mel we have Liz, we have bev we have nonko we have lankoko that is lancy and then we have letterbo seven of them are actually on this vacation and it's been very very interesting so basically it's more like bringing should i say all stars should i say it's like housewives all stars <laughs> if i'll call it like that all stars to come and showcase um from each of their franchise so i'm going to be talking about episode four and maybe subsequently i'll be giving you a review on each of every episode that drops by so i'm just going to pick up a few points i'm not going to talk about everything that transpired one thing i want to talk about is liz and nonko like the friendship or the bond that the both of them share, I don't really understand. Remember from last week episode, remember that they went for a beach party and then on their way going back, and Blizz actually saw a fine man and he was like, Oh, I like this guy and actually called his attention. The guy came around and then the, she and um, Nonko, I don't know how it happened, but Nonko had a way of actually snatching the guy from Liz, which didn't cause a problem between the two of them. Bear in mind. So they now went to their um, lounge or they went to their private residence. When getting there, based on production, production rules say, states that um, visitors are not allowed. And before they even got there, Lancy had already been drawing it to their ears like, this guy is not supposed to be here, he shouldn't come, and all of that. So Lancy made a whole deal out of that and by the time production came and saw the guy in the bus, the um, production had to tell the guy to leave the premises. Now today we are saying that um, Nonko and Liz actually left the private residence to go and see the guy. They actually drove two hours to go and see the guy. They actually told production they were going to buy glasses and then upon going to buy glasses they actually saw the guy. And what made me really think twice about Nonko is like Girl, remember in Housewives of Durban, she has actually had so much issues when it comes to guys. From Housewives of Durban, you could see, I think it was the last last season's episode, last season rather, that we saw that she had issues with RD, RD Rough Diamond. <laughs> Yes, I watch. Okay, so the um, Housewives of Dublin that I actually follow. So we can see that she had issues with Rough Diamond. And this episode, this um, particular season, we see again that she's actually in a relationship with someone who is actually married or who is in a relationship. As in, Monko is giving us this kind of relationship that you're confused on where is Monko. And to think that she's actually a Christian, you will think that as a Christian, you will practice what your Bible teaches. She's actually going for men that are just absurd. Men that you sit down in your head and just asking yourself, should a Christian lady actually date this kind of guy? That's that's just what Nonko loves to do. Nonko just loves to date guys that you just have to question her Christianity. So now she now went to see this guy. 
Yeah, you mind that she's still in a relationship. Who, I don't know that relationship is an open relationship because the guy she's in a relationship with currently is actually married. I think he's married or he's still single. I shall know that she's not the first woman in the man's life. I don't know that they are married or I don't know. I can't remember the situation right now. So she now went to see this guy. And after the whole re entertainment, refreshment, and then the guy now goes ahead to say, can we dodge? <laughs> Meaning, can we do 50-50? The bill came in at $50 and then the guy is like, can we dodge? Can we do 50-50 on this bill? And Liz just stood up and just left. Like, according to Liz, Liz like, I don't understand. I don't get it. Why would you be doing 50-50? You walked away. I dodged a bullet. A very big bullet. <laughs> See, I think because we are Africans, that is why we behave this way because i know i've heard some of my friends say that when they go out on dates they actually split bills in my head i'm like i don't understand you're the guy in question i am the lady you're supposed to pamper me you're supposed to take care of me so why are you saying let's do 50 50. i did make it make sense and not putting to anything wrong with that or to even make matters worse not actually paid to, i think no it was 55 dollars not go pay 30 and then the guy paid 35 and she's still willing to actually go and see the guy again so in my head i'm now saying no go i can now see why lancy was really stressing about the guy not coming to the premises because it shows that the guy is cheap it shows that the guy is not it shows that the guy is cheap let me just leave it like that so if he's cheap like that there is a tendency that when he comes into the residence, he might do something or he might not do. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think. But that's behavior. This is your first time of seeing this lady. This is your first time of taking her out. Or this is your first time of having an outing with the lady. Courtesy demands that you take care of the bills. Not saying, can we dodge? Can we do 50-50? And Nonko is even still surprising me the more that she's still interested in this guy. She even went ahead to even ask um, the, the residents, what the host? if she could invite the guy into the residence in my head i'm like this girl does not learn you've not settled rough time i think she and rough diamond are still in court you still have someone else and now you're still trying to entertain a guy that is looking so cheap and all of that all because he loves he has the body he speaks well his accent is great and all of that like i think nonko's priority she has misplaced priorities when it comes to me and that's her problem that's that's her that's her problem she remember that she has girls and the girls are looking up to her so moving on <laughs> moving on from nonko and liz um let's talk about mel and bev i don't really know what the problem is between mel and bev because this whole um, conversation has lingered for so long so apparently bev made um a a post on her social media i think it was on her so i think it was her instagram page where she wrote something a quotation a bible quotation on her um, instagram status and i don't know why mel is actually having a problem with that status according to mel bev is preaching but she's not practicing what she preach basically you're a christian so why should you be behaving in a certain way um, i'm going to come I'm going to come from this angle. Nobody is holy. Nobody holy pass. So, Bev, or the Bev, <laughs> right? I mean, their names are somehow confusing. So, Bev, on the other hand, can actually state out maybe that's, that's the way she's feeling. Maybe she went through a Bible passage and that particular passage or that particular, um, 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 what do you call it now? Um, her. Huh. That particular verse actually caught her attention and then she started to post it. Why is Mel actually picking on that? What exactly, how is that affecting Mel? Like, is it that there's a guilty conscience there? Is it that the post she made is kind of picky or touchy towards Mel? Mel, at every opportunity, brings up that whole conversation that why would Bev actually make such a post and meanwhile she doesn't practice what she does? Nobody, nobody, nobody is holy. Like, even the pastors, even our religious leaders, they preach, they do all of that, but that does not mean that they don't sin. Even the Bible says, he without the uh, sin should cast the first stone. So why is Mel actually making a big deal out of this? And because of this, she just had serious altercation with the lady. She ended up calling the ladies rat. <laughs> you don't dare say your mouth is moving like a rat. Yeah. Uh, no, like a what? Who is a rat? Like a what? Who is mouth is moving like a rat? Who's, who's all of you? 
you're not. In my head, I'm like, this girl, this girl, I love Mel. I love her whole baby girl attitude and all of that. But there are certain things she does. Like in my head, I'm just wondering, yeah, what exactly is the problem? Take for instance, that bag she carries. What exactly is in that bag? And she mistakenly slipped. It slipped from her mouth when she said she has recordings. In my head, I'm like, why are you recording these women? This is an infringement on people's privacy. Like, it does not make any sort of sense. Like, I will be having a conversation with you, but I'm not free with you because I'm scared that you might be recording me. And if someone gets goes ahead to be recording other people, that person will definitely be very careful of what she's um, he or she says because she knows that she's actually recording so she'll be careful on what she says and what she does say, and that makes the person fake so that is exactly what Mel is doing Mel is going ahead recording people and thereby trying to play safe so that what, whenever she releases the recording there will be nothing to be used against her, and that makes her fake like it's not she's not she's not revealing her true attitude she's not revealing her true personality I think that's the real word with her true personality so I think Mel should I don't know. I don't. I think production should actually stop her from carrying the bag, or or she should just completely stop recording people because it's completely it's a complete infringement on people's privacy. That, but let me know in the comment section what you think about Mel and her behavior. So for Crystal, um, Crystal didn't really have much of a problem this um episode. She was just standing by mel all true i think mel and crystal have formed an alliance i think um, it's only lancy that is alone then the other four ladies have actually formed an alliance that is bev um liz um letabo and um Nonko. even when mel went ahead to say your alliance it made it seem like what alliance you shouldn't call us alliance we are rather friends but it's very obvious that there is actually an alliance lancy is the only one that is kind of out like she's not with anybody every other person has who they can actually relate to and who they can actually talk to for let her boo i think let her boo is um i don't have to say she's double-sided or double i think yeah, that's what i'll call it double-sided because bear in mind that when um let her boo was trying to make a conversation with um mel mel went ahead to say and um, not i think she said something about the lines not to this satan and then the table actually flew up like what do you mean my satan and all of that and then when crystal tried to talk she said something in her dialect to lancy telling lancy um basically to come to hold the dog to, as in to hold the dog before she releases her leash something like that and when they actually asked Letabo what she said she actually changed things around and said that she's telling Lancy to hold Crystal so that she doesn't say she controls whatever she says because she has already insulted Letabo before so that Letabo um, and Crystal does not go ahead again and insult her because she might not like what she Letabo would do to Crystal so I think that is like double Sided. you're telling you're actually questioning a um, male for calling you satan and then on the other hand you are calling somebody a dog like it doesn't make sense i know it's actually very difficult sometimes to control the words that come out from your mouth but you just have to control it because you're a role model to people and people are watching you so you just have to control the things that come from your mouth, what you see, and all of that. Then for Nonko, I just have a serious problem with Nonko and her Christianity. She practices Christianity whenever I suit her, but her character does not exhibit any form of. Ah, okay, I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't be a judge to this thing. But um, the thing is, we have this is a show that we are watching, and this is a review that I'm giving. So. I don't know. Let me just know what you think about um, Nonko. So, amongst all the housewives currently on the show, who is your best and who do you think should leave the show immediately? I know Twitter people are on the... They are, they are kind of having Letabo's head on the table, on the plate. Like, Letabo has to leave. She's not giving content. But in my head, I'm like, I think I love Letabo. I think it's little Letabo that is giving us the content because... If not for Letabo, Crystal would have actually gotten away with so many things. Like, tell me how Crystal will say that she cannot remember that Letabo was on her franchise. Like, it makes no sense at all. Even... Okay, I don't want to judge. <laughs> I don't want to judge anybody, but it makes no freaking sense at all that you don't know who was on your franchise. Ah, no. You don't remember the things that occurred on your franchise. And the cool thing about it is that whenever a... 
um, a discussion is brought from each person's franchise or from each of the housewives' franchise. The production actually goes does a very good job by bringing back a flashback of what actually transpired, and I love that. We could see that at some point, Crystal was lying. Like it was very clear that Crystal was lying. Even today's own was even the one that was even very surprising when she said that she um I can't remember their names right now. When she said that um they were the ones that actually hit her and gave her a black eye. My head, I'm like. But you were the one that pushed the lady. So when you came the second time, that the other lady actually used her ring and hit you. So I'm not supporting violence. I'm not saying, okay, yes, yeah, so we should actually entertain violence on the show. No. But when you want to say something, please say the truth because there is proof. Evidence plenty everywhere. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section of um, The Ultimate Girl Strip. Are you enjoying it? Are you watching it? It's on show marks. You can actually check it up and let me see your comments in the comments i'll see you all in my next video bye remember to subscribe i know just subscribe i i will be coming frequently now bye